Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker and its teaser trailer made its debut a couple of days ago over at Star Wars Celebration, and ever since then, a lot of people are very curious about this movie, and exactly how J.J. Abrams is going to handle the characters of both Kylo Ren and Rey in this film, and exactly how they will be utilized in the story. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one thing about this movie that a lot of people are really looking forward to seeing is, of course, the lightsaber duel in Episode 9. Now, since The Force Awakens, we haven't gotten a proper lightsaber duel. In The Last Jedi, it was completely absent. We didn't get a real one between both Luke and Kylo Ren, unless you really do count the one in the form of a flashback that was three seconds. But other than that, we never really got a legitimate lightsaber duel since, of course, The Force Awakens. And even the one in The Force Awakens, in my point of view, could have been a whole lot better. So I'm really hoping that J.J. Abrams is really going to knock it out of the park with this duel in Episode 9. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film, and when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions, this is where things begin to get very exciting and interesting for Kylo and Rey. Now, specifically, shot descriptions consisting of sequences within the third act of the film between both Kylo Ren and Rey, one of which describes where Rey is holding Darth Vader's melted helmet in front of Kylo Ren and throws it off the edge of a cliff, where later it's explained that a cloaked figure picks it up and retrieves it. The cloaked figure is likely to be a Knight of Ren protecting the Vader melted helmet. The next goes over Rey using the Force Pull ability and takes Kylo's cross guard away from him, to where the point it's said that, that he is left without a weapon, but the use of the Force. It's described that Rey is holding Anakin's saber ignited in one hand, where Kylo's health is in her other hand, however not ignited, where Kylo eventually uses a short shock of Force lightning similar to how Snoke used it against Rey, throwing her against a metal pole, almost mimicking when Rey hit the tree in The Force Awakens. Another describes Kylo using and retrieving his saber hilt by use of force pull, while Rey is getting herself back up, where it's said that they begin to engage in a fast-paced lightsaber duel, where Y-Wings in the background are seen making a bombing run on the trenches of the large battlefield of the First Order headquarters. So I want to go over a couple of parts about all of this, and one of which that really does surprise me. Now, Kylo Ren, we do know that J.J. Abrams is going to make him a whole lot more powerful than ever before in this movie, in order to make him more, I guess you could say, an, an, an intimidating villain, if you will, in comparison to how he was used in both The Last Jedi and The Force Awakens. So him using a short burst of Force Lightning, similar to what Snoke did to Kylo Ren in The Last Jedi, and how Kylo Ren uses this and applies this in a defense way to, toward, of course, Rey hitting her against a metal pole, almost giving us a parallel to what was done in The Force Awakens, where Kylo Ren uses Force Push, and she gets actually hit into one of the trees on, on of course, the planet of Starkiller Base. So what's really interesting about all of this is that this whole entire lightsaber duel so far sounds very promising of what J.J. Abrams is really trying to do here. It really seems like he's trying to make this a newer version of the Anakin vs. Obi-Wan Kenobi duel from Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. And like I said before in the beginning of this video, I feel like that we are due for a proper lightsaber duel. You know, we didn't get one in The Last Jedi, and the, and the one in The Force Awakens could have been a whole lot better. And now that we are back in episode 9, I think that what JJ really wants to do, since this really is the end of the Skywalker saga, is that he really wants to go out with a bang and really do something incredible and amazing that's going to be an emotional roller coaster that's really going to cause a lot of adrenaline for the audience watching this movie. So the other piece that I think sounds very much incredible is the Y-Wings passing by in the distance from what's described as they are making a bombing run, bombing the trenches of the First Order headquarters on the large battlefield, as both Rey and Kylo Ren are engaging in a fast-paced lightsaber duel. Now, for those of you who did not know, there's a lot of choreography that's inspired from the prequels that will be applied to this lightsaber duel in Star Wars Episode Nine. so this duel is going to be very fast-paced. You can expect a lot of backflips and front flips for Rey and Kylo Ren in this movie. Uh, we saw a little hint and or, you know, little tease of this in the actual trailer that was shown about a week ago where she does that backflip over the TIE fighter and you can already see what she's capable of right now that she will be using that and applying those moves into her lightsaber duel against Kylo Ren in this story 
So that's one thing to really look forward to is, of course, we're going to have a lot of that prequel trilogy choreography being applied to the lightsaber duel in Star Wars Episode Nine. And there's a big debate on whether or not that's a good or a bad idea. You know, using that choreography from the prequels was for the prequels, I agree. But would it actually work for the characters of Kylo Ren and Rey? Would it look right on screen for those characters in a fast-paced lightsaber duel? I think it's going to be fine as long as it's pretty much done in the correct way with the right visuals in the background. I think if they can get that right and pin that down, then that'll be a-okay. Now, the other piece that I do want to go over is what we heard a couple of weeks ago, however we learned something new, is how Rey is holding Darth Vader's melted helmet, and she throws it off the edge of a cliff, and Kylo Ren gets furious, where eventually now it is picked up by a cloaked figure, which is most likely a Knight of Ren in this story. So what do you guys think about all these different sequences within the third act of the film, specifically within the ending lightsaber duel between both Kylo Ren and Rey? And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.